Hi, my name is Chris Turner. I'm the owner of Radical Transformation and also the course facilitator for the Lean Transformation training courses that are available through this website. In this short video, I actually want to talk about step six, implement a pull system. Step six is really critical in any organization that is thinking to move towards a continuous flow process. Most organizations are using batch and queue. That is, they make a huge bunch of parts and then they move them to the next operation. The problem is that first part that was made has to wait until all those other parts were made and completed before they can move the batch to the next operation. In continuous flow, we make one, pass one, make one, pass one, make one, pass one. In order to transition from batch and queue to continuous flow, not every organization can do that in one full sweep. They need phases or different levels to move through before they can actually become a continuous flow organization. Now, some organizations are never going to be able to achieve continuous flow. They're going to be able to improve flow, but not achieve true continuous flow or single piece flow. In the meantime, what they can do is they can use Kanban, which is just a Japanese word that means signal, and the signal can be a card, it can be a rectangle, taped rectangle, painted rectangle on the floor, or a circle, or a square, or a light. It can be anything that basically says, when this space is empty, it needs to be filled up again. And that is the trigger in order to be able to replenish that particular location or designated location. So that's what step six implement a pull system is about. The next part of it is that when the customer buys a part or purchases a part from the finished goods area, that leaves a space. That space then triggers back up the line every process that needs to be triggered in order to build another part to replenish the part that was just sold. This is called a pull system. And so I give you a lot of details about how we do that and how the best ways to do that in any organization within step six, implement a pull system. So hopefully one day I'll see you inside of one of my training courses. Until then, I'd like to thank you for looking and watching, taking the time to watch this video. And I really appreciate you taking the time to do that. Take care. And triggers back up the line every process that needs to be triggered in order to build another part to replenish the part that was just sold. This is called a pull system. And so I give you a lot of details about how we do that and how the best ways to do that in any organization within step six, implement a pull system. So hopefully one day I'll see you inside of one of my training courses. Until then, I'd like to thank you for looking and watching, taking the time to watch this video. And I really appreciate you taking the time to do that. Take care.